church planter, I'm really excited about working with Create International because we're seeing breakthrough here in the Buddhist world. But by using media tools, we're able to see even greater breakthrough. We're able to go further and faster than we ever could go before. The Northern Thai movie has created an opportunity for short-term teams and long-termers to unite together in reaping the harvest. The vision we have now because of this movie is that we want to see this movie being shown in every village in the north. There are hundreds of thousands of villages in the north that every village will unite and come around this movie, watch the movie, hear the gospel, and see churches planted. So I just show that little video to show another method of distribution that even church planters are using where they get the, the films in these small cinemas or they actually take it out. These guys are actually hiring parking lots, you know, and then all the people in the neighborhood, they'll actually put a sign on the Songtao. You know, Songtao is what we, it's our public transport here, those red trucks. And they drive it around the neighborhood with a loudspeaker inviting people to come to this parking lot at this certain time. And then they have a big showing of like the Northern Thai film. And then they ask people, uh, their follow-up is this. How many people here would like a, uh, one of our team to come and pray over your house and pray for your dogs and your chickens and anything else you want us to pray for? And they get a whole list of people that want to do that. And then they end up following them up, praying a blessing on them and sharing more with them. And they actually have found that is a great way that they have used to start home fellowships all over uh, northern Thailand here. So just uh, that's one kind of creative way of distribution. Another way of distribution, of course, is the Internet. Now, all of us should know about YouTube and Vimeo, and we should be using that as much as we possibly can. Because um, <clears throat> those sites, particularly Yahoo, or particularly um, YouTube, get huge amount of traffic because Google is just pumping traffic to, uh, into uh, YouTube because they own YouTube now. And so you can be assured that you're going to get the best and the the, the best traffic for the money, which is no money, <laughs> uh, the, and the effort that you put into it by having it connected to YouTube. But another way to do it, if you don't want your content on YouTube, is what we've done with a website like this. This is in digitube.tv, where all of our content for the 2020 vision is put up on here. And so it's kind of a Vimeo YouTube style website where you can not only view it in high res, but you can download it in two different formats, one for playing on any device pretty much, and another one playing on older phones. And uh, also, of course, on this website, we have the Bible and audio downloadable in 1,300 different languages. So you can do a search for your language, click it, and download it immediately. So there's lots of possibilities there with creating a new website, uh, for your for your content and getting lots of uh, um, traction that way, we've gotten in the first year about a million views of our presentations and over 10,000, um, more than way more than 10,000 uh, downloads. Uh, so that's another way of using it. Always making sure that whoops, always making sure that your websites are and this should actually be going, but it's not going. Um, are adaptive websites. And what I mean by that is that uh, you should make sure that your website, whatever software you're using, um, you know, WordPress is great for this if you want to use that. Um, it has to have adaptability function built into it so that no matter what device is used to access it, it will sense what that device's resolution screen is and it'll adapt itself and look nice adapting itself uh, on that device and be, you know, working well. You must make sure that is done with your website because if not, at least half of your traffic will be lost. At least half of the traffic to your website will be lost because if people try to open it up and you, they can't even see the buttons or any, the functionality is just not working good, they'll stop right there and leave. So you've got to have an adaptive um, uh, website. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, I want to talk a little bit about apps, and I hope I'm not stealing your thunder. I'm going to talk about Colo. Okay, um, this is a really powerful tool, and I, I love the, the potential innovation of apps for distribution of your content. Um, this company that I'm about to show you called Colo, they're the ones that developed the Jesus Film app. And they also, uh, I'll just share uh, this with you, but this, this shows their, their heart and why they're doing it. It's a for-profit company, but they, are, they developed an app basically to do God's work, to do evangelism. And uh, I'll talk more about that after we look at the film. Imagine that you are this man. Imagine you are me. This is your family. This is your home. This is your village. And this is your fall. Months ago, you witnessed something that forever changed your life. Something beyond words. You tried to share that experience with your family. You tried to learn more. You tried to grow. You were handed materials to help with these things, but you would first have to learn how to read. And as time moved forward, that life-altering experience was reduced to a distant memory. It wasn't because you didn't try. It wasn't because you didn't believe. It was simply because you did not have the proper resources to grow. Today, a missionary has returned to your village. But this time, he does not have a projector, a movie screen, or a sound system. He has a phone. Yeah, I love that video, you know. It's small, but it really touches me. I almost start crying every time I see that one. It's really great. So basically, Colo app came up with this app here, and it's downloadable for free on iTunes and Google Play. If you don't have it, you should get it. Uh, the great thing about this app is that it has much of the, or similar functionality to the Jesus Film app and others. But the idea of this app is that it would be a, um, a, a storehouse for lots of different ministries, evangelistic content. And so they have Jesus Film material in here. They've got Creator Nationals films. Uh, they've got Faith Comes by Hearing, Bible uh, things, and even some community development and health things. And so it's, it's amazing. They just keep building more and more of this content. So it basically starts with a splash screen of regions of the world. Then you select the country you're interested in. And then it'll actually have, uh, it doesn't show it here. Maybe I'll go to the next one since it's Korean. Yeah. Then it goes to the languages that are in that country. And then you select the language that you're interested in. And then it brings you to the content that's there. And so you can actually play the content uh, or you can download the content. You can put it, it puts it in a library for you. You can do a playlist. You can share your playlist with your friends in your outreach team or whatever it might be. It's just an amazing evangelism tool. And it's, yeah, and it's free. It's a blessing and it's free. And it is a way for you to be able to distribute your content as well. I can give you the contacts of the guys who are behind this and you can start a relationship with them. And there's a possibility you might be able to get your evangelistic content on there as well. So uh, it's a great tool. The, the next iteration of this that I'm challenging these guys to do is to link GPS with this. So that when you get off the plane, wherever you are, your phone actually, the program opens up, it checks your GPS coordinates. 
uh, with the coordinates of their language database here and pulls up uh, the resources that are available in that language of the people group in, that, uh, in, the, in your coordinates. So you don't even need to know exactly where you are uh, and what tool to, I mean, you need to know where you are, of course, hopefully. Uh, but that's, that's going to be a powerful uh, future um, uh, function. I'm hoping and praying for that. Another really cool app is one done by Crew in Australia. And I, lo I love uh, showing people this because it isn't just, I mean, it is a way of distributing your material, but it's a way where you could potentially take your content and create an app around it. And that's what this, these brothers have uh, actually done here. And <clears throat> there's a little four minute long video that they have created that is, you know, it's very nice, lots of CG in it and things. It has no speaking lines. It's just a visual story of a young man pursuing a young woman and you, you just get this, uh, uh, this idea of this guy will not give up. He's relentlessly after this girl. And, uh, you, know, he, you know, his love just, you know, doesn't know when to stop, right? And the idea is, is that uh, this is talking about God's pursuing love of us, right? That we oftentimes aren't even aware of it, but God is after us. And what it does is it goes to this little video. I won't show you the whole thing now. This is just parts of it. Uh, I guess I'll show you this little Okay, so it's called The Parting Gift. You can download this for free on iTunes and Google Play. And um, basically what it does is it takes you into a screen where you then, <clears throat> this is the young guy that produced it, young guy working for Crew uh, Campus in Australia. And uh, basically you go into it and you answer a couple of questions, it takes you into the movie, you watch the movie, then it splits the s different scenes of the movie up to explain to you what the story means, and then takes you through other questions. So in a way, it's, it's a tool where you can sit with someone and share the gospel with them and take them right through this whole process. And it, it's pretty amazing. And um, I love it because it's, it's a new innovative way of combining media with, you know, uh, digital app technology. And we, we need to think of all kinds of um, new innovative ways to distribute our material that way, get it out and get it useful for people that are doing evangelism. My name is Chris Bailey, and I'm the head of film production here at Campus Crusade for Christ Australia. Last year, Campus Crusade for Christ started Wondergate Films, an initiative to start making films that help to generate spiritual conversations. Now, our first short film, Lost in the Dark, did really well. It placed at the 168 Film Festival in Los Angeles and was nominated for eight awards, including an award for Best Picture. So we were pretty excited with that as a first effort as a team. And I'm really excited to be sharing with you our next short film project called The Parting Gift. Now, The Parting Gift is an allegory that illustrates the Christian perspective on how God pursues us relentlessly with his love. And the film is designed around the idea of starting conversations about spirituality. We think I'm going to go past that because it's, it's a few minutes. I'm running out of time here. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you a few innovative apps that are being developed that are great for distributing our content. So maximizing the potential of uh, social networking um, f for getting your material out. I want to mention something about Facebook. Uh, has anybody done, used Facebook ads before? Oh, only a few of you. Well, let me tell you, Facebook ads is a fantastic way to evangelize unreached peoples. And uh, I, if you've ever used Facebook ads, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can actually go in and select not just the country, but now a map comes up where you can actually zoom into the map to the very city you want to target, and you can drop your little pin right on that city and it will, it will send your app, the ad that you create, 
directly to the people that are accessing Facebook from that city. And the cool thing is that they will translate your ad into the language that the people speak in that target location. And so the, the cool thing that you can do is you can actually go in and into the ad section, you just press create ad and it opens up a new uh, window and it says, what do you want to link to this? So you actually select, say, an evangelistic film that's on your website or it's a YouTube film that you like that's in that language or it's on Indigitube or whatever and it's in the language you want to use as your, as your tool. And it automatically puts that link in and creates a little ad out of it. You can type in a limited number of words and put in a little picture if you want there. And, and then you can press create after you've selected, you know, who you want to target, where you want to target, very specifically. And say it's a Farsi film or let, let's say a, a Hindi film and you want to target Varanasi, you can target right on Varanasi. And, and, uh, and it'll actually then tell you the population depending on the age group you selected and so forth, the, the approximate population of people that are going to see this ad. And then you can actually do an ad for as little as one dollar a day. And you just keep that ad going or you can say, look, I don't want to spend any more than twenty dollars. Keep running the ad until my twenty dollars is up. And these are just some examples of us doing one. I just spent twenty dollars. This was for our, uh, which one is it? Uh, Burmese. Burmese, yeah, thank you. Uh, for the Burmese one. And the ad actually reached over 81,000 people. Okay? And for twenty dollars. And I got 340 people going and watching that film. And I believe it tells me that uh, that means that I was paying six cents per view. Now you can hardly buy a track for that price. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you could do, you can do some, and we've done quite a bit. I've got a whole list of this, and I've probably spent two hundred dollars on evangelism to all these specific groups and gotten people watching this and. And then it, the cool thing is if you have a website with your content on it, it drives that specific traffic to your website, to that particular film. So that, here's another example of one we did for the Farsi people. Uh, reached almost 30,000 Farsi-speaking people. And what does it say down there? Four cents per view. I got 478 views of the gospel film and it ended up being four cents per view. Pretty cheap evangelism, hey? And it's very targeted. That's the cool thing. If you know where this people group is, you can target right on the city where they're at. And, uh, and so, and of course you're using it in their particular language. This is just a list of a few that we have done and the results that we got from it. Another really cool thing that's out there is called Buzz City. Have people heard of Buzz City? Yeah, one person? Okay, this was brought by a speaker at, um, at uh, EMDC when it was in Europe. I found out about this. But Buzz City, you can create little ads, and it's very cheap, actually. And you can shoot these ads to mobile phones all over the world. And uh, you, you actually can select you know, what, uh, you know, the number of people in that particular city or the age group and all that kind of stuff. You can put all these categories into it and, and then send your little ad and then you can hook your PayPal account up to it and it'll just charge you PayPal account. Again, you can just tell them, here, I've got 50 bucks to spend and you can get a huge amount of, of people coming to your media content. So the, these are inexpensive and really user-friendly ways of getting your content using the internet or using phone system, right, um, a telecommunication system to get the, the word out and your content out. This is just a little bit of a, I like that bubbly thing. Okay. I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm going to stop right here. It's a good place because um, 
Um, Clyde's going to talk about mobile ministry, but before I do, I want to show you a couple of devices. Some of you have maybe seen these. Uh, this one, we just call it the God Pod. Basically, it has a little seven inch screen, color screen, and quite a large um, uh, five watt speaker that's really good for. Um, for Okay, this is without any speak, uh, any uh, mic microphone. So that's pretty loud. And you can put, uh, I've got a micro SD card in here where there's about um, 30, 30 movies you can put on this. You charge it, it'll play movies for four hours on one charge. It's got a little AM FM radio on it. Very lightweight, weight, amazing little thing, and it's only 40 bucks. You can afford to drop it or give it away to the pastor there or whatever. And then the Dove Stream, some of you have seen the Bible box, and this is our, our sort of modification of that for evangelism using media. And uh, these little devices are amazing. You charge them, they last six hours, put it in your pocket, you know, go on a long train ride in India and evangelize the whole train because they're all looking for a, a Wi-Fi network to check their email, and all they find is DoveStream on the train. And so they, they get a Hindi movie or whatever playing for the entire time. Uh, so a lot, and this is only $60. So a lot of these devices, a lot of these, nowadays you don't have to spend a huge amount of money to get your content out to your audience. So there's a those are just a few ideas of what you can use. Uh, no. Thank you for asking that question when you knew the answer already. <laughs> no, you can't. These come from Shenzhen, China. I've got a few left with me. We, we uh, import them into Thailand uh, from mainland China, but you can get them in China. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you could. I've got a few of these. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Uh, uh, I've got a few of these left, but not a whole large amount in case you're interested. I'll have some over here probably. You guys ready? I got 30 seconds. Jesus is Lord. Any questions? Yes. Wow, fantastic. So he's saying everyone in Iran has a VPN, obviously, because they want to be able to see stuff that the government doesn't want them to see. And so VPNs run ads. So you can run ads through these. You can put ads on the VPNs. Fantastic. Yes, I bet it would. Uh, there, I, was that Jamie who was talking about that? Jamie, one thing I didn't get to talk about was SD card distribution. And Jamie is also with IMB. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, and Jamie is actually working in Iran, and he has distributed 181,000 SD cards with the Bible in Farsi, our film in Farsi, and a bunch of other stuff. So that's another cheap way to get mass distribution as well. Okay, lots of...